Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from the Delaware County Fair here on Thursday. It is September the 19th, 2019, and I'm going to look at all the races on the program today. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. Join me this weekend. Uh, make sure you join me this weekend for my Pennsylvania Derby preview video. Uh, but uh, today's card from the Delaware County Fair is very good. I always like the um, little brown jug and... Uh, you know, it's just an exciting day of racing. We have 21 races on tap, so uh, let's get on to it. We're going to start off with the early card, which is a grand total of one race, and then we're going to go on to that marathon card of 20 races. So let's start off with the early card, the first race, 11 o'clock post time here on the East Coast. Uh, on the early card, it is the Hall of Fame and Museum Amateur Racing Series final, going for a purse $5,000. Eight trotters are going the mile trip. My top selection, I'm going to take the three horse in Chuck Chuck. I'm going to go 3 2 in the exact. Uh, 3 2 exact. Uh, you know, in harness racing, I figured out if you play the Super Factor, his pools aren't that good. The trifecta pools you know also are not that good exacta pools is, you know if you want to play the um you know those kind of wagers exacta is the way to go but please my god do not play it for 50 cents that's what i ask you for just do not play it for 50 cents can't believe they have a 50 cent uh, uh, exacta here but play for at least a dollar at a minimum but uh, three two here top selection three horse and chuck chuck six-year-old gallon by muscle uh muscle yankee nick Zurich trains hannah mills are in the, hannah miller is in the sulky the horse is most recent now and it came the 15th of september here at uh, the delaware County Fair, so Sunday in the Billings, and the horse won by three quarters length from the rail. Didn't get to have a lot of gate speed that day, but sat back early, had a great final quarter in 28 and 4, and got the job done in 158 and 4. It was a very good run for this horse that afternoon. Before that, non horse 3,500, a freehold 6th of, uh, of uh, September. The horse finished second by neck, left off the gate, had some very, you know, had a quick first quarter, then slowed it down a lot, and the final quarter just couldn't quick enough, got caught at the wire, but ran his heart out there, and then a Pocono. On the 1st of September, in an onwards of 3,000, the horse finished 4th by 3 and 3 quarter lengths, and again, just really never got into it that afternoon. Um, you know, this horse is better, you know, has been running better lately. Back to the half mile, is on a quick turnaround, but I, th I think I like the half mile, and, you know, 3 to 1. Let's take him. So to recount my selection for the early card from Delaware County Fair, it's the Hall of Fame and Museum Amateur Racing Series final. Let's take the three-horse in Chuck. Chuck, I'm going to go 3-2 in the exacta. So now let's get to the late card of the Delaware County Fair, starting off with race number one, post time 11:15. The first race, it's the standard bread for Cheryl Colts and Geldings, purse $48,100. Five pacers are traveling one mile here. Top selection, I'm going to go to the rail to the one horse, Complete Chaos. I'm going to go 1 5 in the exacta. 1 5 exacta. Top selection, the one horse, Complete Chaos. Chiro Gillen by Sweet Lou. Ron Burke trained. Yannick Jengres in the Sulky. The horse is most recent now. It came the 9th of September at Pocono and the TSS uh, Chiro uh, final. And the horse finished 7th by 6.5 lengths there and just had nothing. Never showed up. It, it just wasn't the day to win. Should have improved a lot more, but didn't. He's stepping down in class here. Has this in side where he could show some gate speed better in easy gate speed. I just think he'll run a lot better. Before the uh, Chester on the 20th of July, I see August and the Sire Stakes, the horse finished fifth by three and a half lengths, and he just never really had a good turn of foot, and uh, you know, he, he it just wasn't his day to win. And then before that, Pocono and the Sire Stakes, the horse finished third by one half lengths, tried leaving off the gate, uh, got the lead at the midpoint, but then he just kind of got overtaken in the wire. He hasn't won um, yet. He's 7-0, and but he's always running these good races. He's stepping down to lowest division i think today nine to five from the rail jingra's in the sulky i expect him to get the get off the uh the bump so nine to five let's take him crap price no yesterday was some really crap prices uh too low for me but uh so we got my selection now for the first from the delaware county fair gonna go with the one horse complete chaos we'll go one five in the exact uh, to race number two now. The second race, it's uh, it's a horses and geldings nine worth of thirty thousand in twenty nineteen first division purse fifty two hundred dollars. Field of seven pacers travel the mile trip. My top selection will take the four horse captain velocity. I'm gonna go four two in the exacta four two exacta top selection of four horse captain velocity. This five year old getting by some beach somewhere. Mackie Kelly's in the sulky. The horse is most recent. It came on the sixth of September at Soda on the five eight mile track and uh, in a winners of six thousand. 
the last four, and the horse finished eighth by seven quarter lengths, which was basically drawn in the parking lot that day, which, you know, really cost him. Uh, was wide throughout, never getting a good run, and he was just, it just wasn't a day to win. With a better poster here today, hopefully getting a little bit better gate speed, I think it'll run well. Also, the half mile should suit him well. The last time he was on a half mile was on the fair circuit on the 20th of August in the signature series, which he won by five and a quarter lengths and tried to home two minutes flat. It's a very easy fractions early on, and quickened it up to a 29 4 last quarter. He got the job done there. And then before that, the Meadows on the 23rd of August and onwards of 47, last five pair mutuals. He won by a nose, and he came from behind that day. He had a great final quarter in 28 flat, and he got the job done. That was a very impressive victory. You know, his last you know his last one wasn't that good, but the two before that against the lesser quality horses were good. Back to the half mile, Kaylee back in the sulky, who knows his horse, I think, the best. At three to one, let's take him here to complete our early double. So to recap my selection for the second one, Delaware, we're gonna take the four horse captain velocity. We'll go four two in the exacta. Let's get to race number three now from Delaware, which is the Buckeye Stallion series, two year old Phillies fourth like first division. Field of seven pacers traveling a mile per seventeen thousand five hundred dollars. Top selection here. We'll take the five horse escape the house will go 5-2 in the exacta 5-2 exacta top selection five horse escape the house cheerfully by big bad john aaron merriman is in the sulky the horse is most recent out of came sunday here at delaware in the uh, ovc two-year-old final and the horse uh, you know broke at the end what can you do? It just wasn't his day to win. Uh, but before that, he went on the fair circuit in the OHFC two-year-old final. And the horse won by 10 on the lead all throughout. You know, very, very easy. Quick fractions early on, but then he just slowed it down and came on two, 201 and two-fifths of a second. It doesn't get any easier than that at the end. He got the job done easily. And then before that, get on the fair circuit in Ohio, fair sire stakes. He won by one half lengths. From a wide post, I didn't get the lead off the gate, but got it shortly after. And then basically walked home in two minutes flat. Um, back to the half mile where he's run some good races. Best time. Came 153 and two earlier this year. 12 and six lifetime. You know, I, I think he'll get a good run. Three to one. Let's take him. So to recap my selection for the third from Delaware, let's take the five horse escape the house, and we'll go five two in the exacto. So now let's get to race number four from Delaware. Which is the standard bread trio Colton Gellings purse forty seven thousand one hundred dollars field of seven trotters going the mile trip. My top selection here. We're gonna go to the one horse Emma Town Bud. I'm gonna go one five in the exacta one five exacta top selection one horse Emma Town Bud trio Gelling by Big Stick Lindy gets red in the sulky. The horse's most recent out came the third of September at Hoosier in the uh, Indiana Sire Stakes uh, trio Colts leg four and the horse won by one quarter lengths. He set the pace early on, got overtaken to the half, but then he got it back, and then he just, you know, tried it home very easily, 157-1. and one. It was a very good run, best time for him ever. Um, did watch the replay for that race, and it made me miss, I was going on a little bit of a tangent here, but I do miss um, the, uh, the old Hoosier flat uh, racing in the fall. Uh, you know, I wish they would do that. I'm not a big fan of those very long uh, meetings that go from, you know, six months long. I like it to be split in half. Um, that's why I used to love the Meadowlands flat season in the fall, which we're actually having next week, but um, I, I liked it with dirt. But uh, let's get back to the harness racing here, but I just want to share that little tidbit of of uh, the past, but um, before that, Emma Tampa, the one horse ran at Hoosier again, 21st of August in the Indiana Sire Stakes, Sugar Colts, like three, and the um, the, the horse finished third by eight and three quarter lengths, and just really had nothing that day, was drawn too wide, and never got into it, uh, and then before that, a Hoosier and two-year-old uh, race, the horse finished second by a neck, as the even money favorite, he was off and on lead all throughout, looked like he was going to go away with it, but he got caught in the stretch run, he was going home in 27-1, and one, quite fast there, he got caught, but he, he ran a major race, I thought there, and then before that, in a, he, he ran in a non um, in a non betting on the affair circuit in Indianapolis. Uh, he finished second by two and three quarter lengths. Couldn't find a, um, a replay for that run, but he, it looked like he he um, he finished second that day, and he had some pedestrian you know, um, a, a pace early on, tried at home 27 and three, which wasn't half bad, but, um, you know, that was on the fair circuit, but his races at Hoosier on the, on the seven eights was pretty good. It's coming here. Speed from the inside should really hold up five, two. Let's take him. So to recount my selection for the fourth from Delaware, it's the standard arterial Colts and Gellings here. Going to go with the one horse. Emma town, bud. We'll go one five in the exacta. So let's get to race number five. 
Race number five from Delaware. It is the Buckeye Stallion Series, Trio Flea's fourth leg, second division, going for per $17,500. Field of seven pacers traveling the one mile trip. My top selection here, I'm going to go to the number six horse, BJ's Rocket. I'm going to go 6 3 in the Xacta. 6 3 Xacta. Top selection, six horse, BJ's Rocket. Trio Flea by Big Bad John. Kurt Suggs in the Sulky. The horse's most recent out came the 11th of September, last uh, Wednesday, on the, uh, the fair circuit at Worcester and uh, Ohio Fair Sire Six for two year old uh, Phillies and the horse won by 11 that day second tier six hole which you don't see a lot the horse went straight to the lead and uh, you know he, he didn't look back winning by 11 lengths 159 for the ha for the you know smaller track you know, did very well, you know, slowed it down with the 31 second quarter, but uh, it was still a very good run there, uh, coming home in 28-2. Before that, uh, on the fair circuit, 28th of August, in Ohio fair sire stakes, the horse been second by a neck, set the pace early on, and uh, he just didn't have a lot left in the tank at the end. He got caught the wire, but he still ran his heart out there, and then uh, and on the fair circuit, uh, the horse been second by one quarter lengths, and just really, it was off and on the lead all throughout, and as the favorite, he just never ran there, um, but um, looking over his races on the bigger circuit, he's run some good races there, uh, best time of the um, year came in 155 flat at Northfield uh, and the BSS on the 17th of July where the horse won by two and three quarter lengths on lead all throughout. He just you know came home very easily and paced a very nice race. Gonna have to overcome a wide poetry here today but I think he can at four to one. Let's take him. So to recap my selection for the fifth from Delaware, let's take the six horse BJ's Rockin'. We'll go six three in the exacta to race number six now which is the Buckeye St Stallion Series two year old Colts and Gelding's fourth like first division and going for that per $17,500. Nine pacers are traveling the one mile trip. The top selection, we'll go to the seven horse. We'll wiggle this. We'll go seven four in the exacta here. Seven four exacta. Top selection, seven horse. Wiggle this. Tiro Gun by Mr. Wiggles. Dave Miller, the veterans in the sulky. The horse's most recent out came the 2nd of September at Toyota. And a non wars and one pair mutual run. And the horse won by a neck, finally breaking the mating. He sat back early, had a great final quarter that day. And, uh, you know, it was an all around good victory for his first, uh, you know, for his first victory in quite a while. Before that, on the fair circuit, 28th of August in Ohio, fair sire stakes. The horse finished there by 7 and 3 quarter lengths. Didn't have a lot of gate speed that day, which cost him. Didn't have a lot left in the tank late. And then before that, uh, on the 21st of August in the Maidens, the horse won by 3 quarters length and he closed up well at the end. It was a very good race with 60 cents to the dollar for him, trotting home a very easily 30 and 1 um, final quarter there. Um, but um, he's coming up to the big uh, league here today. I like that he has um, Dave Miller in a sulky who could, who could uh, you know, ride, drive a good race here. 6 to 1 from the outside. Let's take him. I think this is one of the very most wide open races of the afternoon, uh, especially, you know, especially on the early portion of the card. So at 6 to 1, let's take him. So uh, hopefully you win. Go buy, go buy yourself some more, uh, you know, funnel cakes at the fair. But to recap my selection for the 6th from the uh, Delaware County Fair, it's the Buckeye Stallion Series, Trio Colts and Geldings, 4th like 1st Division. Let's take the 7 horse wiggle this. We'll go 7 4 in the exacta. One of these days I have to make it to the little brown jug. One of these days. I've been saying it for 15 years since I've been like about 10 years old so uh, one of these years um, but um, let's get to the seventh race from Delaware, which is the Ohio Breeders' Championship Tiro Colts and Gellings First Division. Purse $128,400. Uh, that's the total purse, but this race going for $64,200. Field of eight horses going the one mile pace. Top selection. I'm going to go to the two horse Epic Ace. We'll go 2 4 in the exacta here. 2 4 exacta. Top selection 2 horse Epic Ace. Tiro Gellings by Western Vintage. Uh, gets Tony Hall in the Sulky, the Meadows veteran, coming in to drive this one. The horse's most recent out came at Dayton on the 14th of September and a non horse a two pair mutual and the horse won that day but he's dq third because of a uh, infraction in the final quarter that day but before that the first three quarters he ran a very good easy race there uh and was running quite nicely but you know the final quarter got to him before that at the lexington red mile uh for a two-year-old race 7th of september he won by five and a quarter and on the lead all throughout he just uh paced home very easily that day on the bigger track and then again at lexington on the 31st of august in a two-year-old race the horse won by one three quarter lengths and again got the lead off the gate got I'd overtake him, but he he tried to home 140, uh, 154 and three. You know, again, a very good run. It's like I noticed about Lexington this year. The track's been playing very quickly, which uh, you might see a lower 146 uh, in a few months. Uh, I could tell you that. Uh, if I could put money on it, I think you will.
though. But I like this horse better from the inside post. The, the horse inside of him doesn't look like he has a lot of gate speed. Even the horse outside of him, the Mr. DS uh, Rocks, doesn't look like he has a lot of gate speed. This horse has some gate speed, which I think will be good. And if he could slow it down on the front end, I think he'd go all the way t at seven to one. Let's take him here. Um, let's, let's see. Is there um, pick three that begins off for race number six? So. Use that horse, who I have in race six, and use this one here. So let's uh, complete a pick three uh, and single next race, by the way. But um, so to recap my selection for the seventh from Delaware, it's your high breeder championship, two year old geldings first division. Let's take the two horse epic gaze. We'll go two four in the exact, and we'll use two and four in the um, in pick three. So now let's get to race number eight from Delaware, which is the old oaken bucket. Three old colts here going for that purse $95,425. Field of five trotters going the one mile trip. The top selection here. We'll take the two horse Mass Fortune K. We'll go. 2-1 in the exacta. 2-1 exacta. My top selection and a single I'm going to do in this pick 3 would be the 2 horse Mass Fortune K. 3 year old Colt by Muscle Massive. Uh, Mackie Cayley's in the Sulky. The horse's most recent out came the 7th of September at the Meadows on the 5 8 mile and the Pennsylvania Sire Stakes. And the horse won by 9 and quarter lengths. He stalked early on. He got the lead and then he just trotted home very easily in 28 and 3. He got the job done in 154 and 1. A very good run for him. His best time of the year so far. Before that, the Sire Stakes the Meadows on the 21st of August. The horse finished 6 by 22 lengths and, uh, you know, just had nothing. Hit the wall completely that day. And then nine wars of high pair mutual at Pocono, 6 of August. The horse won by 8.5 lengths on the front and all throughout. Some very easy fractions. Tried at home, uh, just tried at home in 29 and 1. He got the job done there and more. You know, he, he can't keep up with those very good horses uh, on the um, on the Grand Circuit. But here, you know, this race isn't the toughest race in the world. And I think he get a good trip from the inside. Um, you know, the half miles should suit him well. Well, you know, let's take him here. Um, hopefully he doesn't run the race like he ran the Stanley Dancer, because that was a disgusting race for him. But um, I like him a lot here. You know, it's not the world's toughest old Oaken Bucket. So to recap my selection for the 8th from Delaware, uh, it's the old Oaken Bucket. Going to go with the two-horse Mass Fortune K. I'm going to go 2-1 in the exact. And like I said, to end off that pick three, we'll single the two-horse. So now let's get to race number nine from Delaware, which is the Ohio Breeders Championship three-year-old, excuse me, two-year-old Colts and Gelding second division. Going for that per $64,200. Seven paces go in the one-mile trip. My top selection will take the three-horse Stanford Court. We'll go 3-6 in the exacta. 3-6 exacta. Top selection of three-horse Stanford Court. Two-year-old uh, uh, Tiro Colt, Colt by can't speak. Tiro Colt by Nob Hill High. Ron Ren Jr. is in the sulky. The horse's most recent outing came on the uh, 7th of September at Toyota on the Ohio Sire Stakes Constellation. Tiro Colts and the horse went by one and a half lengths and from the nine hole left off the gate and basically the race was over because he just came home very easily. 152 and four. A quick 27 flat first quarter. It, it doesn't get any easier than that. It was a very good run from from the outside outside post draw. So he gets the benefit of an inside post draw. It doesn't have a lot of inside gate speed on the inside of him. He's probably going to leave, and I just think he'll run a lot better. If you're going to play a pick four that begins with this race, he's a single, I think. But before that, he ran at, at um, Northfield in Ohio Sire Stakes, 24th of August. The horse finished second by three quarters length. He left off the gate, but then he kind of got overtaken. But he didn't hit, he didn't hit the wall completely. He showed some heart at the end. It wasn't the world's worst race for him, and trotting home in the 27-2 for the final quarter. Uh, excuse me, pacing home 27-2. If, if a trotter did 27-2 for a two-year-old and a half mile, it would be... Uh, <laughs> That would be incredible. But, um, you know, he ran a good race there. And then before that, Sayota and the Ohio Sire Stakes for two year old um, Colts, he finished third by six lengths. And again, he, he ran okay, but not great. But um, he, he ran, he, he qualified here uh, in June, and he won both those qualifiers very nicely, trotting home 28 and 4 and 27 and 4, uh, you know, 159 and 158 and 4. And, uh, you know, th those are good races for him. I like him a lot here today. Three to one. He, he already qualified and won over this track nicely. I like him a lot. We're going to single him to start off this pick four. So to recap my selection for the ninth from Delaware, going to take the three horse Stanford Court. We'll go three six in the exact here. And like I said, single the three horse in the multis pick four. So now let's get to race number 10. Race number 10 from Delaware. It is the Ohio Breeders' Championship. Three-year-old Colts and Gelding's first division. Going for a purse, $54,600. Field of eight pacers. Going the one-mile trip. My top selection here. I'm going to take the two-horse native, Sweet Lou. I'm going to go 2-7 in the exacta. 2-7 exacta. Top selection, two-horse native, Sweet Lou. Three-year-old Gelding by American Native. Dan Noble trains and drives this one. The horse is most recent out of game. The 15th of September at Lexington Red Mile in the Kentucky Sire Stakes final. 
and he finished fourth by four lengths there. And from the inside, just didn't have a lot of gate speed, and he just never really ran. Um, you know, he, he went around 22nd flat all the way around, but he just never never really ran. Um, wasn't his day to win. Before that, he, he ran a Soto and a Ohio Star Stakes Constellation 3 or Colts. He finished fourth by neck. He closed up really well in an all-out finish. He nearly won. I thought he ran a good race as the even money favorite there. And then at Lexington and Kentucky Sire Stakes, horse finished second by two and a quarter lengths. And he didn't get a lot of gate speed that day, but he closed up well at the end. He, he, and 149 and two for him. You know, he, he ran okay there. Um, looking at over his um, races here, he doesn't have a lot of gate speed, so he's going to be coming from behind. I think I think he'll get a better trip uh, from the two hole than he would outside, and um, you know I, I expect him to run well here today. So we'll use him. You know, on the multi race, you definitely want to use the seven horse uh, B like Cruiser. He's coming from the outside also. He'll be coming from a little bit behind uh, with Brett Miller, but he's another horse. You know, he's been running these good races. He should like the the half mile six to one. Let's use him also. Maybe we can find a price in this race um, at six to one. But to recap my selection for the tenth from Delaware, let's take the two horse Native Sweet Lou. Let's go two seven in the exacto. We'll use the two and seven in that pick four to race number 11 now from Delaware which is the Ohio Breeders Championship 3 colts Colts and Gelding 2nd Division purse $54,600 9 pacers are going the mile trip top selection we'll take the one horse Rock Candy we'll go 1-6 in the exacta 1-6 exacta top selection the one horse Rock Candy this 3 old Gelding by Pet Rock Ron Wren Jr. is in the sulky the horse is most recent out it came the 1st September at Northfield on the slop and the Ohio uh, Sire Stakes uh, final for 3 olds uh, that day and the horse finished 5th by 7 quarter lengths had a lot of gate speed over early on but then just kind of got overtaken and got overtaken again overtaken again and just never had anything left in the tank at the end a little bit trouble trip also it just wasn't the day to win his last two actually were trouble trips before then from wide poster in Ohio Sire Stakes Sayota 23rd of August he finished 7th by 4 and 3 quarter lengths was drawn way too wide out of it early a little bit turn for the late, but it wasn't anything spectacular. And then Soda, 3rd of August, and Ohio Sire, Fair Stakes. The horse finished 6, but was placed 7 through disqualification because he kind of, uh, you know, caused some uh, kerfuffle that day. Uh, but um, his last decent race was came, came at Soda on the 27th of July in Ohio Sire Stakes. The horse finished 2nd by neck. He set the pace early on. Very easy fractions. Slowed down to the half. Got caught in the um, in the stretch run, but he, he ran his heart out of 5 cents to the dollar. Uh, but he should have won at 5 cents to the dollar. The better in me says. But his last victory in a pair mutual came at Norrisville on the half mile and a high of Sire Stakes in June. He won by two and three quarter lengths from the rail in 150 and three. It was a very good run. Back to a half mile. He should like that a lot. His best time last year actually came here in 151 and three, so that's good. Um, you know, five to two, let's take him. To the multi race now. Um, you know, I would use the six horse black hole, but I think he's going to get very bent to the ground. He's seven to two. I think it actually, the one horse right now is the favorite, but I think it might flip around. I think the, the one horse rock candy might go off at seven to two in that area, and uh, the six horse black hole will probably be that bet down as the favorite but uh, we'll have to wait and see but i'll use the six horse black hole also but i'm not as confident as him uh, with him as i am with rock candy from the rail but to recount my selection now for the 11th from delaware let's take the one horse rock candy we'll go one six in the exact and we'll use the one and six in the multi-race pick four so now let's get to race number 12 which is a very intriguing race the 12th race it's a horses and geldings nine horse at 30,000 2019 second division field of seven pacers going the one mile trip purse $5,200 since the return of Wiggle It Jiggle It and guess what I'm not using him here anywhere in the pick four I think he's going to get very bent into the ground and I just want to see him get a run uh, I'm going to try and pick away from him because um, everybody's probably going to single him in the pick four this is the kind of pick four if I lose it I lose it I want to see if I can find a price here and I think I can with two horses uh, as a top selection I'm going to use the two horse Lion Snyder I'm going to go two four in the exacta here two four exacta two horse uh, top selection Lion Snyder six year old by well said he's five to two but like i said i think he's gonna get bet up into the bet up here with uh um with uh wiggle it jiggle it getting bet down but brent miller's in the sulky the horse's most recent out it came from the second tier at soda on the 6th of september and on in a winners of six thousand last four and the horse won by a neck from the second tier he sat back early a great final quarter for him in 27 and four and he won in 151 and four it was a very good run that day against all those odds before that soda Winners of uh, nine winners of six thousand last four. He won. He finished third by one quarter lengths, and he got the, a lot of gate speed early on, set the pace. But then he just didn't have a lot left in the tank at the end. Kind of hit the wall. Wasn't the day to win. And then before that, nine winners of uh, four last four at uh, Soda. 
he finished uh, second, but was placed first due to disqualification. Uh, but he was on lead all throughout. He got interfered with in the stretch, but he ran his heart out that day. That was a very good run, I thought, at the end. He showed some determination. He's come to the half mile. Shouldn't be a problem. I think he's paced some very good miles this year, and I think he can get a good run. So 5-2 we will use him along with the number four horse born to be bad. Chris Page is in the Sulky on this Nick Sewick trained for Yogi by Big Bad John. This horse ran in the uh, aged pace a few weeks ago here, at, uh, a few days ago here at Delaware, where the horse been second by one three quarter lengths behind Dragon Lee uh, Born, um, where he, uh, who ran a good race. But this horse, he tried to open 27 and 2. He, he was running well that day. It was a good race. Before that, now it was a three uh, at Pocono. He finished there by one quarter lengths, had the lead at the mid portion, got caught in the final quarter, but he still ran his heart out. He's another horse. He does his best running at a half mile. He's drawn a little bit wide, but at 9 2, I think he can get a piece fit. I'm trying to beat Wiggle It Jiggle It here. Like I said, Wiggle It Jiggle It of 2016 can win this race, but he might have lost something. He's been to a 77 uh, year old t campaign now, hasn't had a pair of mutual run in uh, nearly three years. So, uh, you know, it, it's just uh, the handicapper in me wants to try and beat him. And let's see if we can do it. Uh, but the fan of me wants to see him win also. Uh, it'll be kind of cool for him to come back to Delaware and, uh, you know, get back to his former glory. But uh, the, the, the gambler in me wants to see if I can find a price. And I think I can. So to recap my selection for the 12th from Delaware, and I'm going to go with the two horse Lion Snyder. We'll also use the four horse here. Um, uh, the four horse born to be bad. We'll go two four in the exacta and two four in the pick four. So now let's get to race number 13 from Delaware, which is the signature pace final. It's going for a purse of $12,000. We have a field of eight pacers traveling one mile here. My cat keeps stepping on my TV. It's starting to get really annoying. I don't know. What, what, my cat, off subject here before I get back to the 13th race, my cat likes to go on the TV and, and hang off of it, and uh, he hits the channels and changes all the stuff and mixed volume up, especially when I'm doing these videos, because I'm not paying attention to him. He doesn't like that. But uh, hopefully, he's, hopefully he doesn't start climbing on this computer, which he likes to do also, but hopefully not. So, um, where was I? Back to race number 13 now from Delaware, which is, like I said, the signature series final. Field of eight pacers around the mile. Purse $12,000. Blah, 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 blah. My top selection here on the 13th. I'm going to go with the five horse, Dirty Steve. Going to go 5-2 in the exacta here. 5-2 exacta. Top selection of five horse, Dirty Steve. Five-year-old going uh, here by feeling frisky. Jeff Nosonger is in the sulky. The horse is most recent out. It came on the fair circuit in the signature series. And the horse won by one quarter lengths from the six hole. Sand uh, back off the gate. Trying to hold 29-3 after when the horse got the midpoint uh, lead. And uh, one fifty six and 3 for the final quarter. Uh, for the for the final that day. But it's the final quarter one fifty six and 3 We would have had issues. But he, he, he came home in one fifty six and 3 it was an all-around good effort there. Before then, the FFA at uh, on the Fair Circuit, seventh September, he won by four and three quarter lengths. And again, on the lead all throughout, a forty cents to the dollar, one fifty two, fifty nine and two. It was a very good run. And then again on the Fair Circuit, he uh, tried to hold on lead all throughout, one fifty seven one. Very good run. Back to the Fair Circuit again. Lesser quality race, I think. Uh, good post draw. I think he'll get a good run. So a five to two. Let's take him. So to recap my selection for the thirteenth from Delaware, let's take the five horse Dirty Steve. I'm gonna go five two in the exam. So now let's get to race number 14, the start of the bigger races on the program. Race number 14, it's the Miss Versatility Final for Phillies and Mayors, going for that purse of $100,000, field of seven trotters, going the mile trip. My top selection, I'm going to go to the rail to the one horse, Emoticon Hanover, where we'll go 1-3 um, in the exacta here, 1-3 exacta, top selection, one horse, Emoticon Hanover, six-year-old mare by Cadabra, um, Dan Dubay is in the sulky, the horse is most recent out, he came at Toga on the 6th of September in Miss Versatility Lake 4, and the horse finished third by length, set the pace early on, some a quick fraction early on, 26 and 4 off the gate, slowed it down to the middle portion, but after that first quick quarter, it didn't have a lot left in the tank, weakened out of it at the end, it just wasn't his day to win there. Uh, before then, the Maple Leaf final at, at, um, at Mohawk, tw 31st of August, he uh, finished 8th by 10 lengths and had a lot of gate speed early on, he got 2nd off the gate, but then after that, hit the wall completely. It just, again, it wasn't the day to win against those type of horses in the Maple Leaf limbs at Mohawk. The horse finished 5th by 4.5 lengths there, I thought he ran an even crapper race. He lost by a lesser margin, but he didn't show a lot that day in the uh, in limbs. And then the uh, Joe Divi at uh, Toga, 11th of August. The, um, the horse finished fifth by seven lengths, set the pace early on, but then, you know, kind of got overtaken. He hasn't won in quite a while, um, but um, he, he's due for a victory. 
I think he get it here today. He has the speed from the inside. Lesser quality race back to a half mile. I think everything points to him here today. I thought his last race in the half mile at uh, Northfield was a very good run back in June in the in the classic there where he finished third but went through quarter lengths, did some good fractions, got around the turn well, and he showed some decent race there. But um, back here, let's take him. So to recap my selections for the 14th from Delaware, it's the Miss First Hilly final. Let's take the one horse, Monocon Hanover. I'm going to go 1 3 in the exact. Uh, so now let's get to race number 15, which is the beginning of the Jug Limbs. Race number 15, it's the 46 Little Brown Jug. Three of Colts and Gelding's first heat, first vision. Going for that purse, $128,000. Field the seven pacers, going the mile trip. My top selection here, I'm going to go with the four horse, Southwind Ozzy. We'll go 4 2 in the exacta. 4 2 exact, a top section of 4 horse, Southwind Ozzy. 3 0 Colt by Sun Beach somewhere. Brian Sears in the Sulky. If there's a horse that could possibly go all the way, I think it might be him. His most recent out in the Pennsylvania Sire Stakes in the Meadows, 7th of September. He won by head that day, and he had to be, you know, he, he showed another dimension that day. He came from a little bit behind. He had a great final quarter in 27 and 2. He got the job then in 149 and 4. Not his best time ever, but he showed some heart that day. That was a very good run there. Before that, the Meadows on 23rd of August in the Pennsylvania Sire Stakes. The horse won by length, and that day was very easily 149 and one on the front and all throughout it was an all-around good race and then the milstein at northfield 10th of august he finished fifth by five and three quarter lengths was drawn just a little bit too wide where he just never had that good turn of foot there uh and then we ran the adios final which he um won by seven lengths and uh you know he sat back early got the lead and then he just kept going at 80 cents a dollar in 148 flat that was a very impressive run uh, back to the half mile today better post right eight to five you know i'm very confident in him so let's take him. The um, pick four begins with this race. 20,000 guarantee pick four. Um, just looking over the other horses very quickly. He's your single here to begin it off. This pick four is not going to pay very good. I think the uh, the, the earlier pick four is going to pay a little better, but um, we'll single him here. But to recap my selection for the 15th from Delaware, it's the little brown jug heat one. Going to go with the four horse Southwind Ozzy. We'll go 4-2 in the exact, a single the four horse in that early pick, in that pick four. So now let's get to race number 16, which is the 74th Little Brown Drug, 3-0 Colton Gelding's first heat, second division. Purse $128,000, field of eight paces here going the mile trip. Top selection. We'll go with the number five horse, fast and first. We'll go five four in the exacta, five four exacta. Top selection five horse, fast and first. Three old colt by better delight. Brett Miller is in the Soki. The horse's most recent out came on the seven eights at um, Mohawk, second of September in Ontario Sire Stakes. And the horse won by three and a half lengths there. Sat back early, got a good second, uh, you know, got the lead after that. Good half in 28 and one. Came home 152 flat. It was a very good race there after that. Of, you know, it, it doesn't get any better than that. That was a very good run. Before the entire Ontario Sire Stakes at uh, Mohawk, he won by seven to three qu oh, by one and three quarter lengths. Excuse me. Should uh, scroll in so I can see the page. But it's that day. He didn't get the lead off the gate, but got it shortly after. And then he just took off clear. A very nice, easy run in 151 and two. And then non Wars three at uh, Mohawk. He won by one quarter length. Sat back early. Got the lead and tried to home 151 and two. He has run in the, uh, on the uh, half mile in the past. I came at Grand R Great River in uh, Ontario Sire Stakes where he finished second by a nose got the lead off the gate got it overtaken but he ran a fun a good quarter there closed up well he, he ran a good race nearly winning yeah he'll get a good trip from the five hole 12 to 1 let's take him if you're going to play with the pick four, definitely use the four horse. Artie's ideal also. He's been running these good races in the New York Sire Stakes circuit. Uh, you know, running a very good second place finish a few weeks uh, last week of Batavia. Another horse, I think he'd get a good run, so we'll use him there also. But to recap my selection for the 16th from Delaware. It is the 74th Low Brown Jug, uh, first heat, second division. Let's take the five horse fast and hurt, hurt first. Can't speak. Been talking now for a half hour, but I'm going to go five, four in the exacta. So now let's get to race number 17, which is the Buckeye Stallion Series, two old Colts and Gelding's fourth leg, second division. Field of 10 Pacers going the mile trip per $17,500. Top selection. Let's take the three horse Pacer Racer. I'm going to go three, nine in the exacta. Three, nine exacta. Top selection, three horse Pacer Racer. Serves two old Colts here by We Will See Chris Page in the Sulky. Most recently, the source ran on the 12th of September on the Fair Circuit and non winners of, uh, excuse me, the High Fair Sire Stakes. And the horse been second by two and three quarter lengths. He tried to, you know, he, he paced home in 20, uh, 30 and one uh, for the final quarter. Ran the race 150 and four. The winner just ran that better race, but as a favorite, he got around the race course well. Again, on the uh, the Fair Circuit before that, in the Fair Sire Stakes, he won by three and a quarter lengths. He sat back early. He quickened up it to the three quarters and then he slowed 
slowed it down to the final quarter uh, in 31 and 2. 2 and 1 and 2 for the final. It, it was a very good run there. And then before that, he had everything his own way uh, on the pair circuit, winning in 2 or 2 and 2. And then a 2 minutes and 4 on the pair circuit before that very easily. He's a horse. He ran 154, uh, 155 and 4 on the fair at Sayota earlier this year. You know, everything points to him here. 7 2, let's take him. So to recap my selection for the 17th from Delaware, let's take the three horse pace racer. We'll go 3 9 in the exacta. It's race number 18, the final uh, leg of the pick four here. The 18th race, it's the Ohio Breeders' Championship. 3 old Phillies going for a purse of $100,000. 10 pacers are going a mile trip. Top selection, I'm going to take the seven horse Snob, uh, Snobby Tam. I'm going to go 7 5 in the exacta. 7 5 exacta. Top selection, 7 horse, Snowby Town. 3 year old Philly by Knob Hill High. Ron Burke trains. Chris Page is in the sulky. The horse is most recent out and came at Northfield first September on the slop in Ohio. Sire stakes for 3 old Phillies. The horse finished third by one quarter length. Stalked early on. Didn't have that good final quarter there, and he kind of weakened out of it. It just wasn't his day to win. But before that, non wars were two um, pair mutual at uh, Sayota's 20th of August. The horse went by 3 and a quarter lengths in front of the 9 hole, left off the gate and just came home 153 flat so very easy fractions it was a very good run for this horse and then the sire sticks in northfield on the half mile the horse finished second by one three quarter lengths and again ran a you know got second but ran a good race something that does scare me a little bit that uh, about him he, he runs his better race i've noticed on a 5 8 mile track especially this year but hopefully you come back to the half mile run a better race six to one let's take him i think the five horse twinsburg is another horse that could really go to a good race he ran earlier this week here at delaware on monday and won by two lengths a very good run in 154 and two uh you know before that run a good place at soda and then some of his races on the side uh, and non winners uh, races at soda over the over the summer were good races he has to come to a half mile i think he get the job done also 10 to one let's use him i think that this could be your most wide open race of the, uh, the late pick four but still not going to pay as much as that pick four before. But to recap my selection for the 18th from Delaware, let's take the seven horse Snobby Town. We'll go 7 5 in the exact 7 5 to end off this pick four. So now let's get to race number 19. Race number 19 from Delaware. It is the Buckeye Stallion Series, Chill Phillies, fourth leg, dirt, third division, per $17,500. Field of eight pacers going the one mile trip. My top selection here, let's take the three horse T Gen Gold. I'm going to go 3 7 in the exact, a 3 7 exact, a top selection, three horse T Gen Gold, Chill Philly by Pat Rock, Dave Miller's in the Sulky. The horse is most recent out of him in the fair circuit, the 11th of September, last Wednesday in Ohio Fair, Sire Stakes. And the horse won by one and three quarter lengths on the front and all throughout. And just paced home a very easy race in two minutes and four fifths of a second. Quick enough to a 29 final quarter. It, it was a very good run for him there. Before that fair circuit of sire stakes, a week earlier the horse was scratched by the judges, but that day he won by seven and a quarter lengths. Didn't get the lead off the gate, but got it shortly after, and then tried it home 29 and 1, 158 and 3. It was a very good run for him there. And then before that, he ran, uh, he, like I said, he got scratched off the race before. And then before that, uh, 24th of August in the sire stakes, the horse went by four and a half, again on the lead all throughout. He got the job done. Gets Dave Miller, which is a plus. You know, pay, pays some very good miles so far this year. Six to five, let's take him. I think he deserves to be favored. I don't just, I don't think he's going to get stopped. So, like I said, let's take him. So to recap my selection for the 19th from Delaware, let's take the three horse Tijan Gold. I'm going to go three seven in the exacta. Now let's get to the big 20th race from the Delaware County Fair, which is the Little Brown Jug Final. It's uh, going for a purse, $384,000. We'll have eight horses eventually go to the post, going the one-mile trip here. Uh, no program numbers, because they'll be drawn after race number 16. But, um, you know, I, I think that the horse to be, and I just don't think anybody's going to stop, and would, will be Southwind Ozzy. I, I think he's your most likeliest winner, so we'll use him here. Um, you know, I think your second likeliest winner here um, would, would probably be um it would, would probably be lions um excuse me not lions J uh, john girl i i think it's gonna be the um the, the number um two uh the uh de los cielos dio I said that right uh, for Ron Burke. This horse come from a little bit behind. Um, I like him a little bit in that first uh, heat. He's a horse. He gets a good posture. I think if there's going to be some kind of meltdown, I think he get a piece of it. So I'll use him here. Um, you know, shake that house also. I think he get a 
piece of it. Basically, I think in the, the the first heat of the the brown juggle, you know, the the limbs, um, you know, the the first limb. I think that's the better limb, and I think your winner's going to come out of that race. I think it's most likely going to be, like I said, South Winazi, De Los Cielos Dio, um, could possibly get a piece of it, and I think Shake That House. I think it's that's going to be your top three, basically, in the final. So um, we'll use those horses. Uh, so like I said, Little Brown Jug final we'll use as a top selection South Winazi, but it'll be a very heavy favorite, so there's not a lot of money to be made with him. But good luck to all, and uh, hopefully we make some money today, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 Good luck.